Hello everyone, my name is Cecilia Northwall, owner of Golden Leaf Equestrian Center, and today we are going to try some lesson horses. As I mentioned in the last video, a lot of the horses at the barn are older and retired, meaning we need new lesson horses to help us revamp the program. I will be separating this into two separate videos, one for lesson horses and one for lesson ponies. Today we will be looking at the horses. I wanted to quickly say that all of the stables had me tack up the horses myself. I just didn't want to show it because I thought it would get boring since I had to do it with every horse. I'll keep this intro short so let's hop right into it. So the first place I went to was Silverglade Equestrian Center. They are known for breeding top quality horses so I decided to look at some of them. The first horse I decided to try was Ben. He is a 12 year old Trackner Gelding standing at 15.8 hands tall. He has been training mostly in cross country which is perfect since that's what Golden Leaf is known for. He was very calm but hard working. They allowed me to go over a few jumps with him in the arena, but since there was another horse I wanted to try, we decided not to do the cross country course. I think he would be a good choice for any riding level due to his relaxed nature and immense training. I tried one more horse while at the SEC. She was a 9 year old warm blood mare named Odette, standing at 15.2 hands tall. They said that she was mostly trained in dressage. I think she could be a good addition for beginners as she is also a good listener and pretty calm. Although she did spook when we saw a squirrel outside, which is a little concerning since we do practice in an outside arena. I think she could be a good project horse or helpful for when we start our dressage team, as she was quite good at it. I'll have to come back when we start that up, but as for right now, I'm just not sure. Those were the only horses I tried at the SEC, so we then moved on to Furgrove. Furgrove is another place that is well known for its cross country team, so I was very hopeful about their horses. Since I already knew I would be trying their course, I decided to put on my best. The first horse I tried was an 11 year old American paint mare named Jade, standing at 15.4 hands. She was very strong and did well during our warm up. Once we were on the course, I could tell she was getting excited. She obviously loved getting to jump, and even though she got a little ahead of herself at times, I think with a little more training, she could be a wonderful horse for people to learn cross country on and possibly even compete. After Jade, they showed me another horse named Mars. He was a 15 year old Morgan Gelding standing at 15.4 hands tall. He was a little older than what I was looking for, but he had good temper and I think he could be a good option for nervous beginners. He can't do much in the way of jumping, as he can only jump less than a meter, but he was still a very sweet horse. It's now the next day and the last place I went to look at horses was South Hoof Rescue Center. There were quite a few that sparked my interest. The first horse was a 10 year old Barb Gelding named Willie. He was 15.2 hands tall. He was well trained and I was even able to jump with him. He had great stamina and speed, so he would work well for more advanced riders or with the cross country team. The next horse I tried was a 12 year old American Quarter Horse mare named Janine. She was 15.3 hands tall and a total sweetheart. She seemed very kind and nurturing. They said that she had been there a while as most people wanted a horse to compete, but they agree she would work better for a lesson program. She has only done a little bit of jumping, but we could always work on that if we needed to. The last horse I tried was an eight year old tractor mare named Luna. She was 15.7 hands tall and had a lot of energy. I think she could do great in jumpers, but I'm not sure about a lesson program as I think she would require more training, so I wasn't on her for too long. I do still think I would consider her another day if I were looking for a project horse, but since there are still things we need to work out with the schedule, teams, and lessons, I don't know if I have enough time for a project right now. Well, that was all the horses I tried this week. You are all probably wondering which ones I brought home. Well, the first horse I chose was Ben. He seemed like a no-brainer due to his background and his ability to teach a wide variety of riders. He is slowly becoming more comfortable and I think he really enjoys riding on the beach. The next horse we got was Willie. I already know he will be great for riders wanting to learn cross country. I could see him even competing with the team. He is a very hard worker and he loves getting to roll around in the pasture. The last lesson horse we bought was Janine. I'm very excited to get working with her as I don't think we've reached her full potential, but her calm nature has helped her with the new riders and all of the kids seem to love her. I actually have a bit of a surprise. Now we only planned on buying three horses, but I just had to make an exception for Jade. She will not be used in the lesson program as of right now, since she needs a bit more training, but I could see her being a star on the cross country team and think she'll be a great addition to the stable. That's it for today's video. Remember that the horse search is not yet over, as I do still plan on getting some lesson ponies. I also plan on updating you guys on how the new horses have adjusted to the stable in the following weeks, so remember to stay tuned for that. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys! Bye.